There's something magical, yet mysterious, about ancient buildings. Whether walking through a corridor fraught with war, strolling down an unbeaten and forgotten path, or browsing through the images of historic structures on your phone, you can't help but be in awe of the building's wonder and beauty. That's because many of the oldest buildings in the world hold great importance to those early civilizations who use them and today's archaeologists who continue to study them. If you're interested in learning more about historic structures, well, you've come to the right place. I'm Mike with List25, and here are the 25 oldest buildings in the world. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, think about joining our Discord and becoming a member. Oh, and uh, what's the oldest building you've ever been in? Let us know in the comments. With that being said, let's go. Twenty-five, the Colosseum. The Colosseum, more formally known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is a testament to Roman engineering and architecture. Situated in the heart of Rome, Italy, it's considered one of the most impressive monuments of the ancient world. Built between 70 and 80 CE, this imposing structure was primarily used for public spectacles such as gladiatorial games, naval battles, animal hunts, executions, and reenactments of historical events. Today, while no such activities are held at the Colosseum anymore, it continues to draw people from around the globe who come to marvel at its grandeur and be awestruck by its long-standing legacy. In fact, it remains one of Rome's most iconic attractions and has even been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1980. I've never been, but oh, do I want to go. I'm going to want to go to every building on this list. I, I love old buildings. Uh, 24. Temple of Garni the Temple of Garni is a Hellenistic temple in Garni, Armenia. It's the only standing classical temple in Armenia and the former Soviet Union. The temple was built in the first century CE and is dedicated to the god Mir, the Armenian equivalent to the Greek god Apollo. The building is an example of the Greco-Roman style of architecture that was popular in the region during the Hellenistic period. Anyone visiting the site can attest to the sheer size of the temple. It's unbelievably massive. That's what she said. I know. Okay, no more. No, that's it's the last one. First and last. Maybe. 23. Li Chang Ukan Tomb. Have you visited the Hong Kong Li Chang Ukan Tomb Museum? Well, <laughs> if you haven't, it's a fascinating museum built on the site of an ancient Han Dynasty tomb. Sort of a crazy situation, but it was discovered in 1955 during construction work. The tomb dates back to the Eastern Han period, 25 to 220 CE, and is thought to have belonged to a wealthy family. Inside the tomb, you'll find a burial chamber, a pottery workshop, and a passage leading to the burial chamber. It's an incredible glimpse into the past and a great way to learn about ancient Chinese history. 22. Maison Cari The Maison Cari is an iconic Roman temple located in the city of Nîmes, France. Built in the 1st century CE, it's considered one of the world's oldest and best-preserved structures. Constructed using white limestone blocks, this impressive building was once used for public gatherings and religious ceremonies. However, it's become a popular tourist destination and an undeniable symbol of Nîmes' rich Roman history in recent years. The Maison Cari stands tall and proud today as a testament to the grandeur and ingenuity of ancient Roman architecture. Visitors can explore its intricate interior details or marvel at its grand facade from afar. 21. Dune Carloway Have you heard of Dune Carloway? It's an Iron Age broch that's located on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland's Outer Hebrides. Brochs were fortified towers that were constructed by the ancient inhabitants of Scotland during the Iron Age. Dune Carloway is one of the best preserved brochs in Scotland and is estimated to date back to the 1st or 2nd century CE. This circular structure features double walls and a central staircase leading to the top of the tower. The broch was likely used as both a dwelling and a defensive structure, and may have housed a wealthy family or chieftain. 20. Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor The Mausoleum of the First Qin Emperor is an ancient Chinese tomb in Xi'an, China, and was built for the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang. Built over 2,000 years ago, it's famous for its terracotta army, which consists of thousands of life-size soldiers, horses, and chariots that were buried with the emperor to protect him in the afterlife. It was discovered in 1974 and is now a popular tourist attraction. 19. Damak Stupa 
The Damak Stupa is a Buddhist stupa located in Sarnath, near Varanasi, India. It's one of the oldest and most important Buddhist stupas in India. Additionally, the stupa is believed to mark where the Buddha gave his first sermon after enlightenment. The stupa was built in the 5th century CE and is made of brick and stone. Nowadays, it's a popular tourist attraction and a place of pilgrimage for Buddhists from all over the world. 18. Thracian Tomb of Sveshtari The Thracian Tomb, an ancient burial site located in Kazanlak, Bulgaria, offers a captivating glimpse into the culture of its 4th century BCE builders. Discovered in 1944, this UNESCO World Heritage Site was constructed from stone and clay and is thought to be the resting place of Suthis III, a ruler of the Udrysian Kingdom. It contains unique frescoes and pottery which are incredibly well preserved for their age. This remarkable tomb not only stands as a testament to the centuries of Thracian history, but provides invaluable insight into their art and spiritual beliefs. 17. The Parthenon the Parthenon is an awe-inspiring remnant of antiquity and one of the world's most iconic landmarks. This temple in Athens, Greece was built in the 5th century BCE and dedicated to Athena, the goddess of wisdom and courage. Standing atop the Acropolis Hill, it's a remarkable example of classic Greek architecture, featuring slender ionic columns and intricate sculptures. Despite damage over the centuries, visitors today can still admire its numerous surviving elements. Perhaps most impressive was a giant statue of Athena inside the temple, constructed from ivory and gold and reaching a staggering height of 12 meters. Sadly, this majestic figure has not been preserved to this day, but its memory lingers on in the Parthenon remains. And if you want to see kind of what it used to look like in its heyday, there is, if you're in Nashville, Tennessee, there is a Parthenon. It's like a, actually a full-scale replica, including the giant Athena statue. To scale. It's pretty awesome. Go there. I've been. The doors are huge, and you can actually move them. You might not be allowed. I moved them. Probably shouldn't have moved them. 16. Persepolis Persepolis was an ancient city of legendary grandeur located in the modern-day nation of Iran. Founded by King Darius I around 518 BCE, it served as a ceremonial capital of the Archimenid Empire for centuries. It was renowned for its immense palaces, royal gardens, and complex networks of staircases, roads, and defensive walls, all built from gleaming white marble and limestone. Despite being sacked by Alexander the Great in 330 BCE, Persepolis remains an architectural complex open to tourists today and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its impressive ruins offer visitors a unique insight into one of the most powerful empires in ancient history. 15. Temple of Hera the Temple of Hera, located in Olympia, Greece, is one of the oldest temples in the world, dating back to 590 BCE. Didn't know they knew who Hera Syndulla was all the way back then. That's a Star Wars reference. As one of the best preserved ancient Greek buildings, its architectural prowess is still visible today, and it stands out for its six columns on the front and back, as well as 16 along its sides, all constructed from local limestone. While there was once a gold statue of Hera within its walls, now lost, the temple remains an impressive site that still captivates visitors. Its grandeur is further enhanced by intricate patterns and carvings adorning its walls, crafted by master artisans who use their skill to immortalize important symbols into stone. Visiting this ancient site allows us to experience a piece of history and marvel at human achievement through a timeless structure that has stood for over 2,000 years. 14. Temple of Cyrene the Temple of Cyrene was an ancient Greek temple located in the city of Cyrene, Libya. Dedicated to Apollo, the god of prophecy, music, and archery, it was one of the most significant temples in ancient Libya. Constructed during the 6th century BCE in the Doric style of architecture and featuring a peripetal colonnade comprising 6 by 13 marble columns, this temple served as a majestic reminder of the city's history and importance for centuries. Unfortunately, it suffered destruction at the hands of conquerors in the 3rd century CE before being quarried away for its stone. Today, despite its ruins, it remains a popular tourist destination, offering visitors a glimpse into its past and insight into how Apollo's presence shaped Libyan religion and culture during antiquity. 13. Ramesium Situated on the west bank of the Nile near Luxor, Egypt, the Ramesium is an ancient temple complex that dates back to the 13th century BCE. It was built to honor the memory of Pharaoh Ramses II and served as a mortuary temple where his cult could offer prayers and sacrifices. 
Notable for its enormous statue of Ramses II, an immense sculpture standing over 18 meters tall and weighing around 1,000 tons, the complex also houses a range of other structures, like a hippostyle hall, a bark shrine, and a palace that was created for Ramses himself. Despite being partially destroyed through time, it still stands as one of the most impressive attractions in Egypt today. 12. Mortuary Temple of Hatshepsut the Mortuary Temple of Hatshepsut is an ancient Egyptian temple on the west bank of the Nile near Luxor. Built during the 15th century BCE, it was constructed to honor the pharaoh Hatshepsut. It was a mortuary temple where his cult could offer prayers and sacrifices. The temple is famous for its impressive architecture, with three levels of terraces built into the cliffs overlooking the Nile. Despite being partially destroyed by later pharaohs and earthquakes, the mortuary temple of Hatshepsut remains one of the most popular tourist attractions in Egypt. 11. Pyramid of Kenjer The Pyramid of Kenjer is an impressive ancient Egyptian structure located in the necropolis of Saqqara in close proximity to Cairo. This remarkable pyramid stands at a comparatively small height of 25 meters and can be dated back to the 13th dynasty, a period ranging from 1803 to 1649 BCE. Not only was this pyramid built for Pharaoh Kenjer, who reigned for an approximate four-year tenure, but it's one of the oldest surviving monuments from this particular dynasty. To this day, this pyramid continues to awe onlookers with its intricate limestone architecture and rich archaeological heritage. 10. Karnak Karnak is an ancient temple complex located in Luxor, Egypt. It was constructed over a period of more than a thousand years, from the Middle Kingdom to the Ptolemaic period. The complex covers an area of over 100 hectares and contains numerous temples, sanctuaries, and other structures. Included in the complex is the famous Great Hippostyle Hall, which is made up of 134 massive columns. Karnak was dedicated to the worship of the god Amun, along with his consort Mut and their son Khonsu. Today, Karnak remains a popular tourist destination and a significant archaeological site, providing insights into the religious practices and artistic achievements of the ancient Egyptians. 9. Royal Palace of Ebla The Royal Palace of Ebla is an ancient archaeological site located in modern-day Syria. Dating back to around 2400 BCE, it was once the political and administrative center of the ancient kingdom of, well, Ebla. The palace was an impressive structure, covering an area of over two hectares, and consisting of around 90 rooms and numerous courtyards. In addition to its architectural and artistic achievements, the royal palace of Ebla also played a significant role in the decipherment of ancient Eblate language which was written in cuneiform script on thousands of clay tablets discovered within its walls. Today, the palace remains an essential site for the study of ancient Near Eastern history and culture. 8. Great Pyramid of Giza The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most famous landmarks in the world, and for good reason. Built over 4,500 years ago as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, it stands at an impressive height of 147 meters and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. The pyramid is made up of an estimated 2.3 million stone blocks, each weighing around 2.5 tons, and was constructed with incredible precision, with the sides of the pyramid aligning almost perfectly with the cardinal points of the compass. Despite the passage of millennia and numerous earthquakes, the Great Pyramid of Giza still stands today as a testament to the ingenuity and skill of the ancient Egyptians. Yeah, I want to go there. I, I want to go to all these. Oh. 7. Laugbi Laugbi is a Neolithic burial monument located on the island of Jersey, Channel Islands. It's one of the oldest and most important archaeological sites in the Channel Islands and dates back to the 4th millennium BCE. Like many other burial sites, the area is lavish and decorated with intricate designs. 6. Megalithic Temples of Malta The megalithic temples of Malta in the Maltese Islands are some of Europe's oldest and most significant archaeological sites, with a history that dates back to the Neolithic period, which is 4000 to 2500 BCE. These remarkable monuments were constructed using stone, and features chambers, alleys, and courtyards that were used for religious ceremonies and rituals. These temples were incredibly important to the social fabric of ancient Maltese culture. Not only did they represent an important spiritual focal point for the people of this region, but also served as hubs for social gatherings and activities. The megalithic temples are still standing today as a testament to this bygone era and the way of life it upheld. 
Five, Newgrange. Newgrange is a Neolithic passage tomb in the Boyne Valley, County Meath, Ireland. It's one of the most famous prehistoric sites in Ireland. The monument was built around 3200 BCE, making it one of the oldest structures in the world. Again, it's unreal that ancient people could build such extraordinary megastructures. It's believed to have been used as a burial site for ceremonial purposes. The most famous feature of the monument is the Passage Tomb, a long narrow tunnel leading to a burial chamber. As if that wasn't sophisticated enough, the Passage Tomb is aligned so that on the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, the sun's rays enter the chamber through a roof box and illuminate the burial chamber. 4. Pyramid of Djoser the Pyramid of Djoser, also known as the Step Pyramid, is an ancient Egyptian pyramid in Saqqara, Egypt. It was built in the 27th century BCE during the Third Dynasty for Pharaoh Djoser, the second king of the dynasty. The pyramid is considered the oldest complete stone structure in the world and is a significant example of early pyramid construction in ancient Egypt. Amazingly, ancient people were able to build megastructures like the pyramids. Some even speculate that they had help from the stars. We'll never know. So, you know what? Let's move on to the next building. 3. Von Fortress Von Fortress, also known as Von Castle or Von Citadel, is a medieval castle in the city of Von in eastern Turkey. The castle was built in the 9th century by the Kingdom of Von, a powerful Armenian kingdom that ruled parts of modern-day Turkey and Iran. It was used as a defensive fortress and the domain's capital. Like other castles, within its walls are many smaller buildings and structures. If only the walls could talk, imagine the stories they'd tell us about those medieval days. Interesting. 2. Sunuraji in Barumini Sunuraji is an iconic prehistoric archaeological site that stands proudly in the Italian commune of Barumini, Sardinia. It's believed to have been constructed between the 16th and 13th centuries BCE by the Nurajic civilization, a highly influential culture that flourished on the island during antiquity. The complex boasts various ancient structures, including towers, courtyards, and gates, making it one of the most important surviving examples of Nuragic architecture. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997, Sunaraji continues to be a source of wonder and inspiration for generations worldwide. 1. Palace of Knossos The Palace of Knossos is an ancient palace in Crete, Greece. It was erected between 2000 to 1400 BCE and is officially one of the oldest places in the world. The castle comprises many smaller structures, including a central court, a throne room, a royal residence, and several smaller rooms and corridors. Undoubtedly, this palace was once a sprawling center filled with life. As grand as it appears now, it was probably much more magnificent during its golden years. So what's the oldest structure you've ever stepped foot in? Let us know in the comments below. And like I said before, like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all that jazz, Discord, become a member. Thank you guys so much. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.